The Eurozone made it through 2012, but what does the future hold? With us to shed light on what could be one of the defining questions of 2013 is one of the most highly regarded central bankers, Jean-Claude Trichet, former president of the European Central Bank. Mr Trichet, on Cyprus, do you think the levy on deposits are a good measure, thought through to the last detail? I have to say that what is, of course, a very important decision is to decide to lend money to Cyprus. Uh, enormous amount of money in proportion of GDP. If I'm not misled, it is uh, higher than what has been done for any other country uh, in a, situa a difficult situation in the euro area. So I will not engage in, uh, I would say, commenting on particular elements. It's absolutely clear that uh, my sentiment is that what has been decided uh, will not have any contagion effect. But uh, again, what counts is that Cyprus is being helped through loans by the euro area as a whole in a proportion which is superior to what has been done until now. You said that you don't think it will have a contagion effect and although Cyprus is a small nation it has a huge financial system, if some of the banks there fail could that not have a domino effect elsewhere in Europe? I think that uh, it, you always have to look at things uh, from all possible angles and uh, as uh, one can see the idea is not precisely that there are banks that are failing but the idea is that uh, through appropriate means, and again, I, know, I don't judge the, what has been decided. By the way, it, it will be decided by the parliament in Cyprus, and uh, we will see whether they change a little bit the various parameters of the uh, so-called uh, first deal. But what I, uh, I have to, to mention is that uh, in any case, we have to consider that what is being done is a considerable help for a member country of the euro area. And that is the main message. How can the euro area help to enhance international cooperation between the main economies to bring about a more stable financial system? We have to understand that the particular problem of the euro area, which was a, a problem of sovereign signature, and of improving governance is part of a more general problem, more global problem, which is the difficulty of the advanced economy as a whole. Uh, don't forget that everything started with a financial crisis. At that time, the epicenter of the financial crisis was in the US, the subprime and Lehman Brothers. Then the epicenter crossed the Atlantic, if I may, and we had the epicenter of the sovereign risk crisis but it remains a global crisis and it calls for all advanced economy to put their house in order. And you speak about going back to the creation of the Eurozone. In retrospect, was it a good idea to create the Eurozone with what we know now? Of course it was a good idea. Uh, again, you don't say the, the US or uh, Japan uh, has to be uh, dramatically uh, changed or transformed and so forth because they had a crisis and uh, you have to, to take the uh, challenges of the crisis, the challenges of governance as they are. But uh, what we are, uh, when we speak of the Euro, we are speaking of a very long-term historical process which started after World War II and uh, calls for the European to be more and more united with the appropriate governance and of course uh, uh, playing fully their part in the uh, overall global economy which is now uh, the real pertinent entity at a global level. And saying that, what lessons can we take away from the Euro crisis? Again, uh, the Euro crisis is part of the difficulty of the advanced economy. All advanced economy have to improve their macro policies, have to improve the prudentials of the financial uh, sector, in the case of Europe, the paradox is that uh, on a consolidated basis, the fundamentals are quite good in the fiscal side, better than in other, other countries, other advanced economies, but governance of the euro area has to be dramatically improved. It is what we are doing. This is no time for complacency. A lot of hard work remains to be done. So history is not written. We have to work hard but it is going in the right direction. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank Trichet. You, Thank you. For more insights from thought leaders, check out the Asian Investment Conference website.